Hey everyone, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, I just wanted to go over what a geodisc is in graph theory. Based on the videos I've seen, it doesn't seem like geodisc is a super common term, and I think it's pretty darn useful. So I thought I'd just put out a video, so if anyone's searching up geodiscs, they have this video to come to. I did a video a while ago on the distance between two vertices. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I talk about geodiscs in that video as well. So let u and v be connected vertices, which just means there's a path connecting them, of a graph G. Then a UV geodisc is a shortest UV path. So a UV geodisc is a UV path whose length is the distance between U and V. For example, looking at this graph down here, what is the distance between U and V? Which, remember, is written like this. What's that equal to? By definition, the distance between two connected vertices is the length of a shortest path connecting them. So here's a path connecting u and v. We could go from u to x, from x to y, and then from y to v. This is a path of length 1, 2, 3. There are three edges in the path, so it's a path of length 3. But that is not the distance between u and v, and so that path is not a uv geodisc, because there exists a shorter path. Let's check that out. Perhaps you see it. We could get from u to v with a path of length 2 by going from u to z, and then from z to v. And that is a shortest uv path in this graph. We say a shortest path because shortest paths aren't necessarily unique. For example, if we added an edge joining x and v, we could find another path of length 2 connecting u and v. We could go from u to x, and then from x to v. So since the distance between u and v is equal to 2, and this here, we'll write this p, is the path from u to z to v. This is a shortest uv path. It's a uv path whose length is the distance between u and v. And so, this path p is, by definition, a uv geodisc. For one more example, look at x and z. One path connecting x and z goes from x to y, from y to v, and then from v to z. And that is a path of length 3. But that is not a shortest path connecting x and z. Since x and z are adjacent, we can get from x to z in a path of length 1. So we could say p, we'll say just p prime, is equal to the path going from x straight to z. This is a shortest xz path in the graph, and so it is by definition an xz geodisc. Again, a geodisc connecting two vertices is a shortest path connecting those vertices. And so a geodisc connecting two vertices, by definition, has a length equal to the distance between those two vertices, which is pretty handy. So I think it's a great term. You know, if you want a uv path, that has a length equal to the distance of u and v, you can just say let p be a uv geodisc. Then, by definition, p is a shortest uv path. So I hope this video helped you understand what geodiscs are in graph theory. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.